Can we pray in one minute and ask the Lord and say, Oh God, let my heart, nobody is too big for the word of God, nobody is too small for the word of God. To revise people like unto Siva and like unto go. Your life must reflect the order of the word of God. May your life be transformed. May your life be changed. Zabalatu leta meminai. Zabatane, 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 Zabatane. Kawada bala naku zabla tabala tu nekeba kwa sabula. Male voroto koba sekrete kita Maria lataba. Zaba bas kabla taba manta boroi. Arabata ku sekrete kita bala tu neka bori alata tea. Zaba bas sablo toba kate bala tu lata. As the Lord and say, Father, let your word come unto me. And said, and the word of the Lord came unto him. According to Genesis, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham. The word of the Lord can come unto a man and set him upon him. Ezekiel 2, by say, why he is speak come to me. The spirit of God came into me and set me upon my feet. Why he is speak unto me. Daba sabona le Before we sit down, can we appreciate my friend and my brother, Pastor Victor? Many people don't know how to design greatness on our bar. The most time when we sit down together, we began talking, we talk about business, we talk about God, we talk about life generally. And sincerely speaking, the Bible says, they that the Lord, they are God. When they come together, they speak and the book of remembrance open. One of the advantages you are going to have as a believer is to have a set of people that believe in your bar, a kind of people that believe in your culture. The people that understand what you are doing. Can we take our seat? One of my greatest assets in life is the people that God has connected me with. People can truly shorten the journey to success. People are very important in life. You won't believe what I'm telling you, but it's true. true. Imagine a life without people. Why did you come with something to write? You don't like writing? You didn't come with something to write. Anytime you come into the house of God, come with a, a pen, a paper. Is that okay? Or you can come with the phone to record something. Apostle, maybe you should put it, you know, it's very important. People go to class. You can never come to class like this, you realize that. Whether secondary school, primary school, you come with something to write. Because you are going to write an exam. That is why you do your best so that you can be able to pass. When we come into the house of God, we don't care. I want to teach you about the five fingers of greatness, the things that buy money. In all my short journey in life, my life is revolved around just these five fingers just the same way that one finger is not enough a broom cannot sweep a place it will require brooms i have found out that in life there are basically five fingers five pillars of great and every great man you see today subscribe to one two or three of those they are more like an advantage to him The things I want to share with you today are things that if you hold on to them dead, your life is going to advance beyond anything a man can think of. It doesn't matter whether you're under a course. If you subscribe to these things, your life will change. I assure you. I was under a course before. It is broken. Everyone you see today that become great has a course, a generational course, a whatsoever. It doesn't matter. But there were things that they subscribe to that do not take time. And their life became more than what in life basically failure and success is predictable and the predictability of failure and success is determined by the level of commitment and investment you put upon life this is corona season i mean we are in corona we are in july and still corona has taken over everywhere people are still struggling but do you know in this midst of corona there are people that are still making it so bad there are people that are living very comfortable life as though corona never is what's the difference there is something they know that you don't know there is something they are doing that you don't do what will determine your productivity in life and in the kingdom is the law the principle that you know and the instructions of the holy spirit that you have been able to obey Many people are not obedient to the Holy Spirit. Many people don't subscribe to principle. They don't even subscribe to laws. Whether you like it or not in life, you will need both 
instructions both principles and both laws there are times when i teach there are times when i preach people don't know the reason why teaching and preaching is important both together good as it is for you to continue to teach people you need to preach to them good as it is for you to continue to preach to people you need to teach them the goal of teaching is to bring you to a point where you have an understanding of laws and principle of the kingdom and the goal of preaching is to bring you to a point where you can receive instructions from the holy spirit but mind you even the instructions of god establish laws and principles because when the instructions of god create productivity in your life it establishes a laid down principle where others can follow as a result of that i need you to take what i want to talk to you today as part of the laws and the principle of life that are never to be neglected the bible is speaking in the book of second chronicles 20 20 it said believe in the lord your god and you shall be established he said believe in your prophet and you are prosper a prophet according to that scripture is anybody coming with the word of the lord at the moment for you to believe in the person may not be familiar to you the person may not be recognized at all but god can send that person to your life at the moment when you despise that person there is every chance that your life will be a contradiction to the success systems of god the things i want to teach you today which are the five fingers of greatness or you can refer to them as the things that buy money i consider these things one time investment in the life of any believer one of the greatest reasons why believers they may be tongue talking holy ghost bartenders firing with the holy spirit and yet in life they are somehow is because they subscribe to the instructions of god and neglecting the principles and the laws of life so you can see a believer tongue talking but he cannot have a successful business don't talk about you cannot have a successful relationship with other people why there are busy principles of life that he's supposed to know that he doesn't know many spiritual people cover everything in tongues everything good as that may be there are times when you just need to show love to your brother there are times when you need humility other times you need honor other times you need to produce a value other times you need to add up excellent to what you do everything is tongues to us no wonder the men of the outside world the hidden are wiser than the sons of god their wisdom is in the ability to harness the laws of life and the principle of life what are these five fingers of greatness which are referred to as the things that buy money these things are one-time investment that when you are able keyboard is you need to be able to give me i need to hear the sound it's very important sir when you are able to subscribe to these things one of the things that is going to happen to you is that you are going to have continuous productive predictable results many years on campus while i was about to graduate god asked me a question he said philip if you don't want to be like every other person that after they left campus they become nothing then you need to pay attention to the things i want to teach you in campus the normal trend is that when you begin to pray you come to a point where you have the anointing you are anointed by god and you do like you before that anointing you become papa you become a school of fellowship you become prayer coordinator everybody bow to you everybody submit to you but immediately when that is done you graduate the best maybe you still have that kind of advantage when you go for service in nyc after that you face the reality of life where there is no fellowship to give you presidency when there is no ncc to make that like you need to be able to strive to become something in life and the lord told me that why the voice of many who are silent was not because they bastard other people cannot have a working model of an investment within the five fingers of greatness many of the things they were doing they are not even too sure of it they were doing them on to chance the lord began to ask me questions and let me know that i need to learn a lot of things that there are five things that if i can make my life revolve around them that i will continue to be relevant upon the world until today my life revolves around these five things it doesn't go beyond that. one of the things that great one of the things that god told me 
that I must ensure that is part of my life at all costs is the anointing. The anointing. Among all the fingers of greatness, this is one that is very important that even if you don't have any of the finger of greatness, this one will always bail you out. The anointing of God is God enablement upon a man. The anointing of God is a man where God standing with a man ensuring that anything the man does, he must prosper in it. A man may know nobody, a man may know nothing. He may not go to school, he may not have any degree if the hand of God is upon him. Because of the anointing, it will cause many things to happen. It's only the anointing that can make a pauper become a great man tomorrow. It's only the anointing that can make five-year-old child become important. Just because when the five-year-old child put his hand upon you, cancer disappeared. When the five-year-old child put his hand upon you, HIV disappeared. The anointing can buy money. The Lord told me, Philip, the anointing is far beyond just you falling people under the anointing. No. He said, the anointing is a measure. He said, how much of me do you have? How anointed are you with determine how relevant you will be in the society? Say, forget about this Papa and Mama thing that you are seeing on campus. Forget about all of this escorship. Very soon, the anointing you think you have will dry up. And when you dry up, you will burn up. And when you burn up, you become irrelevant. The Lord told me, I have to strive to become anointed daily. In the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible says, How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed. The major thing that God did to Jesus was the anointing. There was nothing apart from the anointing that God did to him. Without the anointing upon the life of Jesus, Jesus would have done nothing. Nothing, I assure you. One of the easiest things that can make a man become great in life is the anointing. The Lord told me, Philip, strive to be anointed. Strive to remain anointed. The anointing can make you rich. The anointing can make you prosperous. I assure you the truth. There are many things that I have got in my life today because of the anointing. You know, one thing about me is I don't talk testimony. I don't know how to share many thoughts. I don't know who are the people that listen to most of the messages, most of the things I preach. So imagine if somebody did something to you and is hearing that you are saying it out. Sometimes it doesn't really make sense. Are you getting what I'm saying? But the truth is this. The anointing can open doors for you. There are places I've been to that I assure you, if not because I'm anointed, I will never be there. There are things I have got in life just because I'm anointed. The anointing can buy money. The anointing can make a man become rich. No matter how poor you are in life, the day God smear an anointing upon you, you cease from being a poor person. But the anointing is a measure. Your anointing may heal blindness. Your anointing may heal headache. Your anointing may heal cancer. Your anointing may heal corona. Whatsoever your anointing can do will determine how great you will be. That is why the anointing is a measure. You can increase the measure of the anointing. Prayer, your sacrifice, your everything is to ensure that the anointing increase upon you. Your fasting, your prayer, your everything will help increase the anointing of God on you. Your studying, your everything. Among the five fingers of goodness, the anointing is one of the five voter ones that can, like the key that holds all that fingers of goodness. There are people that you know that are very bad people, just because they are anointed, you go to them. Even if they are fake, because of that fake anointing, people still run to them. They are anointed. Another of the finger of greatness that God told me, He said, if you are sure that you are anointed, then, you see how powerful are you? You see, power is part of the fingers of greatness. That any man that he intend to make great, he ensure that he smear the person with power. No wonder that, no one that the Bible says, and ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So that you can become witness. Without the power of God, your life will be in danger. Without the power of God, even your genuine intention, you are going to die. Anointing without power is a challenge. You see a man tell you he's anointed, but he lacks power. That's a problem. Power can buy money, my friends. Power can buy money. No wonder people go to Babala in the bush at night 
Why? Because Baba Lama has power. They know this person is of the devil. But just because of the power he has, people want to him with their money. If you have the power to make this chair disappear now, sir, people will come to you with their money. The Lord told me, Philip, before you graduate upon this campus, know that you have power and know that you have the power very well. Not this small, small thing we do, no. Big life situation will demand that you have many, you have many things in extra, in abundance. Can you be sure that when you decree a thing to be established, the goal of power is to make things to bow. The power that God gave Jesus, he exalted him above everything. So that when Jesus speak a thing, it must be executed. It must be established. The idea shall decree a thing and it shall be established. He said, whatever thing you agree upon the face of the earth is agreed in heaven. It will require power for that to work. The Lord told me, Philip, if anything you say will come to pass by power, you will not lack money. And I strive to become powerful. No matter how people tell me how I need character, I know I need character, but it will never replace power. You can have character. You can also be powerful. They say we shape the world by a character, right? A world that is under demonic repression can never be shaped by any character. Even if you shape your character, it will still become morally demonic war. You will require power to cast out devils upon the world first of the world. There are morally demonized people. Morally sound people, but they are very, very demonized. They are innocently demonized. There are people that are innocently dying in hospital. There are people that are innocently under the bondage of devil and they are morally right. You will require power. The Lord told me that the location of power is always known, never hidden. Say, Philip, strive to become powerful. Say, part of the fingers of greatness is a man that has power. Many people are anointed, but I told they don't have power. The Bible says, How God anointed them, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with what? With the Holy Ghost and power. That means the, the Holy Spirit and power. Who we went about doing it? Power was part of the requirement for Jesus to become great upon the face of the earth. Power was the same part of the requirement for the apostles to become great. He said, Tarry in Jerusalem, tarry until you are endued with power from on high. Remain in Jerusalem until power come upon you before you can become a witness. Let me tell you, sir. If me and you know that if you go and stand, if you leave church today, go out there. And go and see a clean woman will say, In the name of Jesus, by power rise. A blind man, in the name of Jesus, I open. We don't need to beg them for money, they will bring their money. One of the fingers of greatness that bring money, power. Peter and James. And they met a man by the gate, beautiful. He said, Silver or gold, we do not have. A man said, How is it possible for them not to have silver and gold? These were people that were having 1,000 congregations. Thousands of congregations. Peter preached one sermon, 3,000 people gathered. How can he not have silver and gold? But at that moment, the man doesn't need silver and gold. What the man needs, he will continue to beg until he is raised, until he is healed from his situation. Say, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. In the name of what? Power, rise up and walk. No man that is powerful today. That is begging for anything no matter how fake he is why do you think first perfect what, what do you think they fake they fake power they fake the miraculous they don't care whether they're anointed they don't care whether they have the holy ghost all what they care is that let there be power let things happen so they will tell you, you have a child tomorrow and you'll put something inside of your womb and you'll pay something a lot of places even here in latvia where people call down fire from heaven to burn offering, is that not true? Call that fire to burn offering. When you see that, you come and soon see. People like power. The Lord told me, Philip, before you go out there to confront the world, know that you have power. So that if somebody tell you that you will die tomorrow, tell the person I will bury you tomorrow. If not, you will be at the mercy of all the Babalao, the small, small witches and wizards. Among the finger of greatness, the second one is what? Power. Try to become powerful. No matter how much you add character, add everything to your growth in God, my brother. Strive to become powerful. How do a man become powerful? The easiest way is prayer and fasting. Embrace the way of prayer. Embrace the way of fasting. That was the same thing Babala would do. 
Babala will hide himself in the bush, doing nothing, only fasting and praying. Rain will beat him there, everything will beat him there. He is sacrificing to ensure that he has power. That's why I can tell you, take this egg, throw it in the sky and call the lady's name. As the egg breaks on the ground, the lady will die. And it will happen. The lady may be a tongue talker, but it will happen. Why? In the realm of the spirit, there is rank. Whosoever that is above you, the rank of power will suppress you. The Lord told me, Philip, strive to become powerful. A man that is powerful will not beg for bread. I have known things that only power. I beat to, I went to different places. That only because I demonstrate a kind of power, I got some. I'm telling you the truth. They brought me a situation that they know that I have anointed, but the situation requires power. I cannot tell you that the Lord Jesus blessed no I have to do something. I lay my hands and the sickness disappear. Even if they don't want to reward me, something will force them to reward me. People will respond to results fast. No one that when you become successful in life, everybody is attracted to you. Even your enemy will stay from afar and admire you. That's why people admire false prophets. They admire Baba Lawos. Power is part of the fingers of greatness. There are many things that no matter how anointed you are, they will bring the situation to you to require power. You cannot tell the people that you cannot do it. You will be limited. They will go and look for Baba Lawos. That's why you can be anointed in your house. But they will still carry situation with somebody that has power. Your mother is dying of cancer. They will now go and look for somebody out there so that you can pray for her. What about you? Are you not anointed? Don't you speak in tongues? But you don't have power. When you have power, your mother will come and need that my son pray for me. The guy came to me recently, just some days ago. He could not bleed. He's like dying. What did I do? Simple thing. Came and said, just enter my room. I said, enter my room. I just put my hand in the name of Jesus. I restore your wife. The guy began to speak in tongues. As is today, till today, that was gone. When he came, I saw a demon sitting upon his chest. And I just cast out the demon. And the Holy Ghost came and sit. And he began to pray down. There are many things that it will require only power to do. Maybe you have been attending church every day and still go by the same. But the day you collide with power, power will always repel darkness. The true power of God. Jesus said, if I cast out devil by the finger of God, you know the kingdom of God has come. He cast out devil by the power of God. You don't cast out devil because you are anointed, my friends. No one that the people are anointed when they go to cast out devil, demons, demons, slap them. You cast out devil because you are given power to do that. So you shall cast out devil, you shall heal the sick. You is an authority given to you by power. I need to watch. Part of the fingers of greatness is wisdom. The Lord asked me, say, Philip, how much wise? The man said, wisdom is not a vice principal. Wisdom is a principal. Many people lack wisdom in life. Many people lack wisdom. Wisdom is the intelligence of God at working in creation. Wisdom is the power of God finding expression in words. Wisdom is the mind of God revealed to a mortal man. When a man begins to think like God, act like God, having the mind of Christ, he will have the wisdom of God. Wisdom is actually a personality named Jesus Christ. The Bible says by wisdom that the whole world was framed the way it is. Solomon counsel his son to ensure that he has an association with wisdom that he become one with wisdom the lord asked me many years ago he said philip how wise are you he said great men seek wise people no great man dwell with fools if they dwell with fools it's just to learn from them but never to reward them as you advance in life you are going to meet great people that only your wisdom only your wisdom can contribute to their life. You don't have money. Your wisdom will give you money. You will give them an idea. You will give them an intelligence. You will give them a proposal that carry a wisdom on how they can increase their production. How they can increase their influence. 
how they can grow their corporation why would they not reward you why wisdom is a bailout system to anyone do you realize that when when god encounters solomon what did solomon ask for wisdom but because of the wisdom he had god added unto him riches wisdom will always add riches to a man's life a man that is wise riches will come the bible said when the queen of sheba came to solomon she came bearing gold she came bearing gifts why because of the wisdom of solomon that she saw wisdom is the driving force for excellence sir. excellence is a compelling power by wisdom excellence is established there are many things in this kingdom that you will get by your wisdom there are people that are looking for people that have good ideas for them to buy they can't find your own the president of this ministry is one of the that the, one of the man that has a gold mine a man say you can never have a gold mine without having a gold mind until you turn you turn your mind to a golden place you can't have a physical gold mine you see the ideas that your president has that little company you see is just but the beginning and i know that with this wisdom upon him he will never beg for bread at least not for long wisdom is one of the things that can always buy money because of the wisdom of the things he has people can give him their money wisdom can buy money that one of our friends recently is working with the state governor this guy came in and came and sold a wisdom to the governor of Nassau State. he came here and told him some things that he intend to do how to help Nassau State become better do you know Nassau State gave him appointment fast now he has employed close to 100 people just because of the wisdom he sold to the, gov to the governor let me tell you you can bring an idea by wisdom and intelligence to a man and he will buy it with money i learned about the person that started is it whatsapp before he sold it to facebook right to mark zuckerberg it was wisdom and intelligence that helped those guys started whatsapp today they sold it to who mark zuckerberg in millions and billions wisdom is the driving force of innovation sir wisdom is the driving force of creativity wisdom is the driving force of technology wisdom and intelligence is the driving force of advancement part of the five fingers of greatness is wisdom the lord asked me he said philip how wise are you how wise are you if for instance now today if the president of america comes to nigeria and the first person he meets is you donald trump meets you and he said i just came into nigeria i want to interact with any nigeria i need to know what is going on in nigeria how can united states of america partner with nigeria what can you say we just discovered that you have nothing to say you say sir 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 sir, sir. you don't even know what to say no i'm very serious why you don't have wisdom a man that has wisdom he said your excellency sir i realize that one of the major population of nigeria is the youth and we believe that the youth are empowered the youth can become the driving force for the revolution of nigeria and i believe that the youth are lacking financial support and intelligence on how to be able to run corporations they need aid and support to be able to launch their ideas and businesses can you be able to partner with them i get what i'm saying now if today the minister of education come and sit with you he say you are going to school what can we do to make your school better what will you say lack of wisdom will always close doors if that would they come to you now today and come and sit with you he say pastor tell me what can i do to help my company become better what can you say I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Many times you are going to sit with great people. One of the things they want to see from you is your wisdom, your counsel, your ideas. Wisdom is going to buy money. You can sit with a man for just two hours. And after two hours, the meeting you have with the man for two hours will bet a global corporation. You can sit with a man for just five minutes. And after five minutes, a company will be launched. A company of multi 
billion dollars. Many of the things you see today are just but ideas, wisdom from people. Apple laptop, HP laptop, phones, everything we are wisdom and ideas that came to people. What do you know? What is the wisdom of God at working in your life? Wisdom is going to help you to solve problems. And in the solution that you prefer is going to be the reward that will come even in cash and in kind. The Lord told me, Philip, how wise are you? And that is why when the Lord told me that I began to study, I have read books in thousands, I have listened to messages, I have listened to all kinds of things. Not just only talk, talk, talk things, no. There is no area of life that you hardly see me not say something on. That's why when you listen to many of my messages, I have if not close to thousands of messages and ministers. There are seminars, there are business, in all this idea of uh, specialization, all of this, and that's why your life is different. There are areas where you have more strength, but that doesn't mean that you should be ignorant in many things. When you come to business, you don't know anything. Relationship, you don't know anything. Leadership, you don't know anything. Family, you don't know anything. Investment, you don't know anything. All what you know is prayer. You lack wisdom in many things. The Lord told me, Philip, if you want to become great in life, you must subscribe to one of the finger, which is wisdom. Now, many great people will sit with you just for your wisdom. One of my friends, he got access to a Atiku how during the election. He was able to see that and draft how Atiku can win the election. When Atiku saw that proposal, he embraced it. That guy he left Atiku nothing with, with nothing less than close to a million. Just for the idea he sold Atiku. You know, every great man wants to become greater. That's the bondage of greatness. Another thing of greatness is value. There are many people that are not valuable. Value determines your net worth. Your value is your usefulness. Your value is the quality of your life. Your value is how much you are needed. Your value is how much of a solution are you to the world. Your value determines what you can do that can provide solution. No man that is valuable that will become poor in life is a lie. Value makes you an advantage rather than a disadvantage. Value makes you an asset rather than a liability. What makes gold valuable? What makes 1,000 naira valuable? It's a paper. It can burn. Me and Apostle, we are discussing about what is actually a valuable life. We see there's nothing that is valuable. Only human beings are valuable. Everything you see in life can burn. Human beings are valuable. But do you realize that even human beings are the things that we refer to as not valuable and we now refer to the things that don't that are supposed to be valuable to become valuable? The worth of a thing determines its value. Every human being is more worth than anything. As small as that is, do you know how much is her eye? Do you know how much is her kidney? Do you know how much is her heart? Do you know how much she can sell her life? No amount can buy that. That's value. But since you cannot sell your your heart, what do you learn sell? What you can do? Your value determines your skills. Do you know you can pay somebody as a playing this keyboard? You can pay somebody to play keyboard. You can pay somebody to play drum. You can pay somebody eh, to farm for you. You can pay somebody to drive your car. That's the person's skill. That's the person's ability. I get what I'm saying now. Your value determines what you can do. The Lord told me, finish. A man that is valuable will never beg for money. You see, how valuable are you? If you want to leave the campus to the outside world, how valuable are you? If you are not valuable, you are going to beg. A man that is valuable has something he can do. When they go in, go stop her. He can bake cake. It's a value. Can you plant hair? It's a value. Can you bag hair? It's a value. Can you sew clothes? It's a value. Can you farm? It's a value. Can you repair computers? It's a value. Your skills, your potentials, your ability, all of them, talent, they are value. Can you sing song? It's a value. I know people that join because they can sing songs. They used to fly them everywhere just for singing songs. Comedians today are being rewarded. Comedians, they make people laugh and they give them money. The value they are offering. Lord asked me, say, Philip, how valuable are you? What can you do? I realized that I could not be able to do many things. I have to go and begin to learn many things. 
Can you design anything as a value? Can you paint this wall? Value? Look at this lightning shining, shining everywhere. The person that fixed it didn't fix it for free. We thank you. If it does it because of relationship, which I will come to the next one. But let me tell you, normally, if you do it for another person, they will pay you. What value can you offer? Can you do woodwork? Carpentry. Me and Apostle went to. Can I say it? We went to actually get some cushions and some things for the interior of the house, the new house. We are going to pay close more than 200,000 or something like that. Just for a carpentry work, the guy is going to do cushions and bed whatsoever. That guy, that money. And we saw a place where they used to buy those in Abuja, one point something million era. Normal wood. I post this is normal wood. I say it's normal wood too, but the value these guys are adding to it did. Let me tell you the truth. Your value determines your word. What can pair phone you will not beg for beg 10 naira. If you can repair computer, you will beg for 10 naira. The last finger of greatness is relationship. Relationship can buy money, my friends. Not only value. There are people that are lazy in life. There are people that cannot do anything. There are people that don't even know what's their name, but they still have money. Why? Because somebody like them and is giving them money every day. <laughs> my mother don't have to know anything. I'll keep giving her money. How many of you used to send money to your grandmother in the village? She don't even know anything, but you must send her money. Why? She give birth to you. She's your mother. A relationship can buy money. Somebody can just see you and like you. What's your name, sir? I forgot to know. Kenneth. Kenneth. So I say, I say, Kenneth, I like you. I will be sending 30,000 every day. It's not about whether you do me anything. No, I just like you. I had about a story of a, a woman that knew Dangote many years ago. Dangote came to Albabello store and they were discussing. And the woman had that Dangote is there. She started, Dangote is just calling that his name that they used to know him from primary school. And she was the one that was actually used to give him all these chokes on primary school. She was shouting his name. When she had that name, don't like somebody calling you that old name, that your bad name before. He told who is this person? There come an old woman coming. See, who are you? She said she called her name. You don't remember. Ah, how has life done you like this? She said, that's life, oh, that's life. Oh. Dangote gave her a blank check. Go and feel anything and cash her money. She went back home rejoicing as they were sitting together, deliberating how much should they feel and what should they do with the money. One of our sons that used to drink, that used to smoke weed, had that actually done with her, done it to his mother. He came back home and just went inside our room. You know, that's why women don't keep money where your children, don't keep valuable things where some of these children do. They will want to take it and use less. Took that check and went to the bank with his friend. When he went to the bank, they saw them go take corporation check. Ah, how much are these they put? For us, you care that how much do you want God to give you now? If I ask you, I ask all of you. You see, everybody will talk to the level of his mindset. It will be hard for one of you here to call 100 million. I think 100 million is a very big money. You know, when the bank asks that guy, What do you want? This check is a blank check. Any amount you put here. Dan Gote has already approved. And Dan Gote know that you may hardly think go to 100 million. Boy, look at his friend. So, I tell him, do boo, sabay in the beer. I should remove 75,000 naira. To him, that's a very big body. What concerns a smoker? Smoker that has to buy with 50 naira. Smoke as pen and bends and uh, solution. 75,000 naira is a very big money to him. Banker asked him, are you sure? He said, yes. That's how they cash him out, that's 75,000 naira. Do you know what he used to do? That time, he used to go and buy a low ball machine. Boom, 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 boom. He brought the machine home and he packed it. He said, Where did you get money for this? He said, ah. See, you had that they giving a free check. So he went and used it to buy what the family will need. Mother began to cry. You could have put 10 million, you could have put 20 million, you could have put 30 million. At least you buy times two of this, but the guy do not know. Relationship. I will see me Dangote again. Because Dangote will never give me his number. You meet him by accident and you get it by chance. According to the law of time and chance, everyone that invests in a relationship will be rewarded one day. According. 
The Bible talks about Mephibosheth, right? Mephibosheth was a, a crippled man. A what? He was a castaway in the family of Saul. But the day that David came to throne, David asked, Is there anybody in the house of Saul that will reward? I don't need anybody in this lineage because Saul has done me good. Say, There is no one, but there is, but there is one that is a castaway. Say, Bring me him. Today you will dine with me in the whole house. Don't die with the Kaya. But the Kaya, because of the relationship with Esther, he was promoted. I had a bad job with Suleiman. I learned that the first people that bought him private jet were some of the children in train. His son's children in the Lord. The same thing with Pastor Chris or Yakilome. His jet, I learned, was bought by some of these children he trained them. Let me tell you, this. when you maintain relationships for a long time, it's going to the world. I know ladies that have paid their school fees from beginning of school to the end just because of somebody liking them. One of those ladies that I mentor, more like a father to her, I believed her when nothing was working. There are times she cry, I cry with her. I have many of those kind of, I have many of those kind of people in my life. Mentoring is a very hard thing. You cannot be separated from people and think you are mentoring them. No, you must be close. One of the hardest parts of my life is not teaching and preaching. It's mentoring people. How I have to be there for them when they need me. If not, they will make stupid mistakes, they will give up in life. They will swear that God is not real. Forget all this falling under the anointing. You will fall. When real life situations come, you will require somebody that can guide you around. And sometimes the voice of God may not be there. The voice of your mentor becomes the voice of God. Sometimes they will come to me, what should I do? Nothing is available. I will say, who do you know? Send this person a text, call another person. There are people in your life that you know that if you maintain a very good relationship with them, for a while they are going to honor you. People have been giving cars, giving houses just because they have been good friends with people for a long time. In life, there are people that will like you, there are people that will hate you, people that will like you will stand by you, they will, they will give you things. A man said, if you don't let people close to you, they will not hurt you. But he also said that if you don't let people close to you, they will not also bless you either. One of the favor systems of God, how God reward people in this life, is through relationship. You will see that many people are rewarded in life as a result of the relationship they have with other people. My friends, who you know many more times will matter. If you see people that apply for a job, they reject them just because they don't know anybody. What if you know somebody? You can call somebody. It's not Mago Mago, it's not uh, whatever. No. Influence grants you access to people. Influence grants you access to relationships. There are many people in my life today that they can call me and ask me for money. I will find no matter how. Even if they need to bother, I will bother and give them. Why? Because of the relationship they have with me. A man say, who do you know that you can call that can give you a hundred thousand naira? Nobody give a stranger anything. An average person that will give you ten naira has sisters, has brothers, has uncles. If he give you because you have been a good friend, you have sustained relationship for a while. I realize that one of the reasons why many teachers are broke is because they don't maintain relationships. Many teachers made us fail so well that as we are rising in life, as we become the governor, the senator, you are angry with them because they failed with school, they beat you very well. So you will never remember them. What if that teacher that was helping you, planting you, mentoring you, ensuring that you succeed and pass exam very well and learn in life? If you become great, you will remember him. But that is why today many of them dealing with us, beat us. Today they are even cutting their salary and paying them in percentage. Poor relationship with people. Relationship is one of the finger of greatness. Men who have become great just because of relationship. Let me tell you, sir. If you are the friend of the governor of Nassau State, President of Nassau State today, you will not be where you are. You will award you a contract that will be worth millions. Award you a contract. I know if a man that came and cried to one of the members of the House of Assembly, so I don't have anything. He said, You are my friend. He said, I need to supply 500 mosquito net. 500 mosquito net. Even if you are going to give her 1,000 in each one, how much do you need to be? If you are a friend to President Buhari, no matter how you want to be poor, you can't be poor. Yes. Even with the cost upon your life, money will keep flowing. Just like money will keep going, but it will still flow. I've been seeing people that were given the opportunity. They had millions, but they blew it out. I learned about the guy that came to start this company close to us here. That the man used to build house and dash to ladies. Now he is building a company, multi-millionaire company. He used to build that. He has, he's a friend to, to Abacha's son. What's the name of that guy? Al-Mustafa, right? I know how much Abacha has. 
Abacha wife was the one that said, No matter how poor they are, they will never be poor as Dangote. No woman talk like that without knowing what she has. I don't know what Abacha did, but he did something to them. Some of these outside people, they help themselves. What outside people have is good relationship. That's why one outside person can enter one office. He will bring 15 people inside the office. You put this one here, put this one here, put this one here, put this one here. Why? They are his friends. When you maintain a very good relationship with people, it's going to reward you. The Lord asked me while I was leaving the campus, say, Philip, who do you know? How many people do you know? So one of the ways I'm going to reward you in life, simple, is to connect with people of influence. And you will not come into influence. One of my greatest secrets in life still remains the people that are connected to me. The people that I know. I know too many great people in this nation and even beyond. Even abroad. I know many people in different countries. I will never beg them for one day, but they reward me on their own accord. Why? I'm a good friend to them. Some are mentor. Some they mentor me. Some we are covenant friends. Let me tell you the truth. If you want to become great in life, part of the fingers of greatness is how much you can be able to sustain a relationship with people. Many of you can never become friends with somebody for the next five years. You must fight, you must quarrel, you must do all kinds of things. It doesn't always have to be like that. Part of the finger of greatness is having a good relationship with people. It will reward you so much in time to come. If you are truly a friend to a great man, you will become great very soon. Sometimes I still used to wonder how are you? I still used to get invitation. How I still used to travel. I travel sometimes almost every week, having almost like all kinds of invitation. I used to wonder how it happens. But one day I sat down to ponder at the end that somebody will tell somebody about me, somebody will tell somebody about me, somebody will tell, I'm telling you the truth. Why? Somebody that has been a good friend or a brother, a covenant or a mentor or something to you will tell somebody else. Somebody will not tell somebody else. So when I want to go and I go to you, I establish a good relationship with you. That's how it happens. I am preaching this ministry today now, right? How? Why? Because I'm a good friend to your pastor. I don't like it what I'm saying now. Not because I'm the most talented person in Latvia. I'm just his good friend. He was in our ministry recently and he preached. Why? We are friends. Many of the platforms I have access to, most of them, sir, there are people that are my friends. Others are people that are friends to my friends. Somebody say, an average person know four people that know everybody in the world. Do you understand know now? An average person know four people that know everybody in the world. So, for instance, now you now know me. I know four other people that know that each of those other people know other people that know other people that know almost everybody in the world. So you can call me, I will call a person, a person will call another person. Another... It's a chain of the action. There are people that have been upon the mountain shouting and killing themselves for thousands of years. They are not relevant. Why? Nobody knows them. It will take the mercy of God to appear to somebody in a dream and tell them, invite this person. Believe in this person. One of the ways you advance in this life is to serve humanity and serve God. Your service to God is in your hidden. How you hide and pray and fast. Your service to humanity is to come and serve humanity. How you come and be the love of God to humanity. How you are there for people when they need counsel and direction. Let me tell you, you can be a very anointed, poor person. Very anointed. Poor you have poor. You don't know anybody. I minister in ERCC Cornerstone on Sunday. Sunday service. And after the administration, it was it was a conference. Right before then, I had a one week session with all of them, a everyday session on you know, different things with the church. The last day, which was a Sunday, a minister and the choir told me that they had a budget of some money to pay. Do you know after I was done teaching, I called for people that are going to just support them with something. Do you know that? People that came and gave money and misses it. I say there is money in people. Anywhere you see people, there is money. I'm telling you, you are not just favored enough for them to give it to you. Seriously. One man came, he gave 100,000. And this is a normal human being. He gave the pastor 50,000. He gave the people that invited me 50,000. 
other people came 20,000, 10,000, different in thousands. They were so shocked. I told them that this is how God answers some prayers sometimes. Just by honoring you with a relationship with a favor. One of the ways that relationships work, a part of the finger of greatness, is through favor. Favor is one of the only systems that God uses. You may not be qualified for it, but God will qualify you. Hard work pays you, but favor is a game changer, my friends. I'm telling you, when the favor of God comes today, the favor of God is what took Joseph from the dunghill and made him a prime minister in Egypt. Is that not true? Joseph was never qualified to be a prime minister. But the favor of God because of his relationship, because of the interpretation of dream, because of all of those things joined together and granted him access to become a prime minister. It was the same favor of God that made Daniel become a principality in Babylon. Let me tell you, the favor of God can make a man today that you see and despise to become something tomorrow. Please, before we pray, let me tell you one painful truth. Everybody will be great in life. Everybody will be great in life. But the problem is it's just a matter of when. It will shock and surprise you that the people you see today and you are despising me. Managing director of a company, commissioner of something, honorable minister of something. I'm very serious. The person may not be, but he will know somebody that will recommend you tomorrow. People have called me several times. Apostle, do you know anybody that has studied this course? We have this work for this person. We have this, we have that, we have that. There are several times when I saw that the work of people I have in my hand. You see, if I don't like them, they are going to fire the people. I have friends that have cooperation that will tell me, Apostle, should I fire this person? I will tell them, okay, no, please, allow the person. But he's not doing well. I said, just allow the person. If I say fire, they'll fire him. Many more times, the reason they refuse to that is because somebody said no. I get what I'm saying now. That's how it works. The favor of God may ensure that you will. Somebody with you, the Bible say, thou are highly favored. He said, Jesus grew what? In favor with God and favor with men. Men will be forced to like you. In your office, in any way, they will just like you. Somebody can just like you and come and say, see, take this. I get what I'm saying now. I believe it all. I have one of my mentors there. He tell us many years ago. He said he will not, he's not going to buy anything. People are going to be buying it for him. We thought that guy was joking. Today, house, land, car, everything people buy for him. Of course, some of us have come into some of those things. There are so many things that people do for me. I will hardly see myself buy anything. From clothes to shoes to phone to many, many things. People want me every day. Sometimes, almost every day, somebody give me something. Every day, somebody bless me. I'm telling the truth. It amazes me as a relationship. Somebody is just too ungrateful to reward you for being a good friend. There was a time I had that had almost 20,000 on my phone. I said, what would I use this thing to do? I had so much clothes, a point. I call people, I said, come and pack them and go. Shoes, different kinds of things. Resource. Any things I don't even need to have them anyhow. People are just bringing them just like that. Relationship can make you enter into a realm of abundance that you may never be able to imagine. You must believe this, I'm telling you. Because a mentor told me this thing many years ago. I believe it, I'm seeing it working. And in the same way, people are going to give you cars, give you houses, give you lands, give you plots, and they will think, they will even tell you thank you at their back. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know how this thing works, but that's how it works. Relationship is terrible. I hate to show a post sometimes. Even you need to show me. You will just see that you see a lot. Bam. You see a lot. Bam. A post was telling me about someone that gave me, is it? One million or two million, sir? One million. <laughs> My brother, if we say this, it looks to you like magic. You say, how is that possible? A relationship. I was in Zaria. I was in the church. The man stand at the pulpit. He said, yesterday, Somebody sent me one million for a building project we are doing. Today, in the morning, somebody sent me another two million. The guy that started with me said, is it possible? I said, you see, your problem is that it's your mindset. For the next, I said, the church was building. The entire roof of the glory to 100,000 capacity church. There is one person that did it, right? In billions, the entire chair in the church, one person again, ordered from China, in billions. It's a human being like you and I. Let me tell you, 
relationship can reward you. There is no prayer and fasting for anything could have done to bring that in. But somebody that just like him just gave him that. You may not believe what I'm saying, but it's true. I learned about David Abiyomi. He's building is it uh, five fingers of God. The people that have been sending money billions to that building, I it will amaze you. Not everybody will send, but people will be compelled to send. What I'm trying to let you understand is this. People can reward you. There are people that can reward you. And one of the ways that God is going to use to favor your life is through people. Do you know that your blessing does not come from heaven? What? It comes from heaven through human beings. Is that not true? Is it true? God bless you through human beings. Don't believe all of those blah blah blah. blah, blah tell you. I'm a prayer person. I'm telling you the principle that regulate my life. I find it very hard teaching some of this, but this is the secret. It's not just only prayer. The relationship I have with people has been rewarding. Among the film finger of greatness, relationship is one of the ones apart from the anointing that can bail a man faster. Whether you are a lazy person, whether you don't, can just know somebody and he's gone. The president of Nigeria can like you so much. Say from today, I want to give you ten thousand every month, ten thousand every month, hundred thousand every month. Why did he do it? The question is not why. What compelled him to like you to give you that thing? It's a mystery. One of the things we are going to pray tonight is Father. I don't know what to do to great people. Among this finger of greatness, let my life constitute at least two, three, four of them. I realize that many people that are broke and beggarly in life are people that they, they, you can't see any of these finger in their life. You are not part of the success story of anybody. Nobody can say you help me become great. So we don't want people to use you. People use me. Oh. I was serving in different ministries, different places. I served them, but through them, I also became great. Many of you don't want to serve. Many of you don't want to come under anything. You don't want somebody to use you. You are a joker. Somebody will use you. But it's part of greatness. As you establish a relationship with the person, one day you will be rewarded. Can we pray? Now the Lord says, Oh God, what has made my life bitter? How come every door is closed? Where are the people that you have set upon my life? Many of you have trained people. You have friends that are rich, but they don't know you. You have brothers that are very rich, they don't remember you. Your brother is rich, your brother is great. Nobody remembers you. Your brother may be a commissioner, he may be a head of service, but he doesn't care whether you exist. Something is wrong somewhere. It's not supposed to be like that. Men are rewarded by their relationship. Pray another Lord say, Oh God, who is he that forget me? Like the boss line. After he went, I said, I remember a man named Joseph. He interpreted my dream. I have a relationship with him. Send for him. Let him be out of the prison. We may not be able to hear of the boss line again, but we hear that Joseph became great in Egypt. Relationship can bail you out. The anointing can bail you out. Power can bail you out. Wisdom can bail you out. Value can bail you out. As the Lord, Father, let any, let part of this, one, two, three of this, if you can provide solution to coronavirus, by the wisdom of God, you will never be poor, I assure you. Balaba Shata, Balaba Sabala, Ababa Shabala Tua, Bandaba Sakra de Balatua, Rababa Baba Shabla Daba Balatuna Babala de la Tata, Mariana Bonga Bosca, Bota Babala de Adada. We have helped too many people in life. We have helped them, they have forgotten us. Who is he that is to lift me, oh God? This thing happened like a charm. It happened like a magic. If you believe it, you work. If you don't believe it, you don't work. You don't have to be qualified. You may not go to school, no Anna. Malena, Aluana, Tena, Yad, 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 Yad